Hi, Purpose Partner. Welcome to another episode of Rise to Your Purpose, a personal and spiritual development podcast for female entrepreneurs with a mission. We are your hosts, Brandy and Natalie. We are founders of Victorious Entrepreneurs Rising, where we guide women to build profitable businesses online through diversifying your income, using kingdom principles in marketing, and operating in a spirit of rest so that you can create kingdom impact. After this episode, be sure to join our Purpose Partner Facebook community and get your copy of our Rise to Your Purpose devotional so we can continue to serve you as we partner together in our faith and business. Let's dive into today's episode. Hey, friends and Purpose Partners, we're back with another episode of Rise to Your Purpose. Today, I'm here with Jen Rogers, and we are answering the question, why would a course creator want to contribute their their wonderful courses to a platform like Girl Power Alliance. So welcome, Jen, to the podcast. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Good. I would love for you to just start off, start off with sharing what were you doing before Girl Power Alliance and what kind of attracted you to this platform? Yeah, such a great question. So before GPA, I was doing all the things that entrepreneurs do. I had watched a little bit of what was happening inside of the community through Facebook posts. And in my work, I had done a challenge. I had done a, I don't know, a three or a five day challenge. It about killed me. (laughs) I wasn't ready for it. We always do things that we're not ready for. And I learned a ton, but my husband said to me, gosh, I hope you never do that again, because I was a wreck. My internet didn't work. So I went to the church to try to use the church internet. It was pouring down rain. I had so many tech problems. Emails didn't go out when they were supposed to go out, all of the things. And I had hired a team and Lemon was a part of that team. And so I was, we became friends on Facebook Mm -hmm. and had worked together during the challenge. And I saw her transformation occur. And I thought, what the heck is going on? And at that time, I had also decided that for the current year, one of my top three goals, I have three goals for the year. And one of my top goals is to really hone in on my speaking career. Mm -hmm. And at that time, that's when the speaker opportunities came about in GPA. And I thought, I want in. So that's why I joined the membership. And since then, I have gone to San Diego and participated in the Kim 10, the Kingdom Impact message in 10 minutes. I just want to say my message was 10 minutes on the dot. And if I had gone 1001, I would not have been selected to go to the main stage because that was one of the requirements. And as a speaker and really as an entrepreneur, when we commit to doing something and we have guidelines that are given, the contract that we create with our clients, for example, or this, hey, you need to give your message in 10 minutes, we have a responsibility to commit to our word. And I was determined to get on that main stage. I really wanted to get there. Uh, And so it it, it was so much fun that I'm going back again this year. And I'm in the speaker training for the third time. I love that. And so for those of you, I was actually there. I got to see her on the main stage, do her 10 minutes uh, talk. And it was awesome. I, I took so many notes during your conversation or during your talk. And it, I was very impressed with it. So I'm so glad you you delivered on on your word and met those requirements. So I know uh, you ha- you're in Kenton for your third time. So what is like one of the biggest transformations that you've learned from that, and how has that helped you with your own career? Yeah, great question, and thanks so much for the encouragement and the support for my talk. I loved it. I had a lot of fun with that. Um, hand me a microphone, and I I just I just light up. I absolutely love it. Here's what I learned. The most important thing is that we all have gifts. And once we discover those gifts, they're a lot of times they're things that come naturally to us. And then we think, oh, I'm really good at this thing. And then you go where the big kids play Mm -hmm. (laughs) and you learn, oh, there's more to it than just pressing record when you put the microphone up to your mouth. And what I learned, the biggest takeaway is, is that I have a responsibility to hone my gift, that God has given me this gift to speak well, to speak in front of people, to Mm -hmm. train, to teach, all of those things. And I can stay right where I am and not pursue any sort of um, 
outside influences to hone my skill. And that would really be like the servant who hid his talent in the ground because he was afraid of the master. And that's not the master I serve. I'm not afraid of my master. I know that he has gifted me and he has called me to really develop it and hone it in. So that's what I'm working on. That was my big takeaway. I love it. I'm excited. That is one thing I haven't done inside of the platform yet. And I'm excited to get into the next round, whatever they roll that out, that next opportunity out. Cause I've seen you and I've seen other women go through it. And I'm just like, I need those skills myself. And I want to hone in on my speaking skills as well. So I'm excited for that opportunity. So Jen, uh, you've been inside of Girl Power Alliance as a member, but you are also are a course creator and you created a course on podcasting and you basically donated that course to Girl Power Alliance. So tell us a little bit about that course how does it serve the audience? And then why why would you want to give your course, your content to this membership platform? Yeah, yeah. Why do you want to give away your intellectual property? Right. What a great question. Okay, well, the course, it's Podcasting 101. And the big question that it asks is, are you in or are you out? So a lot of people say, oh, I should, which I got a whole soapbox issue on should, but I should start a podcast. and there's this excitement about, okay, yes, I'm going to use it for my business and I'm going to talk about the stuff that I'm passionate about. And people jump in and they don't really know what they're getting into. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the stats on successful podcasters are dismal. A lot of them quit after six episodes. So the longevity of doing a podcast is it is the long game. And so the purpose behind the course is, I think as someone who is offering services, we have a responsibility to educate people who are interested in what we're offering. So it goes back to that question that I said, are you in or are you out? And by the end of this course, you will know whether or not you're in or you're out. And the great thing about that is, is it takes you through the process of asking, okay, who am I really serving. And the whole avatar exercise that we do ad nauseum as entrepreneurs, that never ends, by the way, I thought it was one and done. <laughs> it no. never ends. And I am that teeny bopper who rolls my eyes every time someone says, tell me about your avatar. Or Let's redo your avatar. I'm like, really? Yeah. And yet that's exactly what we do in the course. We talk about who do we serve? And then we consider what expertise do we offer? And then we ask the question, well, how does this fit into my business model. Because the one thing as entrepreneurs, we want to serve, serve, serve. Oh, let me go create this. Let me go create that. And somebody's going to love it, except we don't know who the who is that we're talking to. And we can be all over the board. And that really uh, negates the impact of our podcast. So when we don't know who we're talking to, we don't serve really anybody well. So in the course, that's what you learn. You, you learn how to do some market research to get clear on what are the needs of your avatar. What is it that their big struggle is that you want to help them overcome? And the other thing is, is a reminder that when you think about when you think about a three-story building, as entrepreneurs, we're on the third story and the people we're serving, they're really on the first and the second stories. And a lot of times we forget that and we, well, we struggle with imposter syndrome or we think that we're not capable of doing it or we try to serve people right where we are in the struggle that we're having and we haven't overcome that struggle yet. So we're not really in a position to lead out of that. However, I would say that if you have the idea that, hey, I want to do a podcast and I want to take people on the journey with me, that's a very different thing. So you could do that. You could say, okay, look, I'm at six figures and I want to go to seven figures and I have no clue how to do that. But these are the steps that, I, that I'm going to take and I want to take you on the journey. Do you want to come with me? That would be a very different thing mm -hmm. because the expectation is set up front, but that's not typically what we do. We typically help people overcome something that we have successfully overcome already. So inside the course, you, you evaluate these really important decisions. Something like, how much money do I have? How much time do I have? Am I going to edit my podcast? Am I going to hire somebody to edit my podcast? 
How often am I going to podcast? How long are my episodes going to be? I mean, these are these are uh, simple questions. And when you listen to somebody's podcast or you look at all the podcasts that are out there, you say, oh, it looks pretty easy. There are parts of it that are easy, but there's a lot of uh, technical and um, I don't know, things to, I do know, I do know, actually, there are things to consider that you don't normally think of. And that's why it's important that you hire a coach, Mm -hmm. regardless of who you hire, hire somebody who's aligned with your values. If you're going to pursue your podcast, so you can get clear because for me, I've been podcasting a little over three and a half years. And in that time, the first year was uh, really uh, a lost year, I would say, because I didn't seek help. I didn't really know what I was doing. I just sat down one day and said, I'm going to start a podcast. So that's, what's in the course. It's a big, Hey, these are things to take into consideration. So if you are thinking about starting a podcast, those are some things to think about. So hit rewind and listen to those things again, or better yet, join the membership and go get the course for free. (laughs) Awesome. Yes, that is, I'm so glad you brought that up because that is one of the beautiful things of having access to these courses is that you, it meets you where you're at. So there's courses from, Hey, podcasting 101 to you want to you're at six figures and you want to scale higher. We have courses on that as well. And so I love that you created something for that, you know, beginner podcaster in their entrepreneurial journey, because that's where I was too. When I first started, I was like, I'm going to start this podcast. It's going to be for fun. And it's kind of developed and had twists and turns throughout the last four years. So I started it in 2020 uh, with myself and then I brought my sister on and then now she's kind of dipped back out and so most of the time it's just me talking um but it's been really fun and, and it would have been nice to have they didn't really there weren't really podcasting 101 courses back in 2020 or they were in my in my windshield of options when I was starting it was kind of like everybody jump in and figuring it out and now I feel like it's become uh it's become such a podcasting has become such a a broader or bigger industry, if you will, I don't know how I want to word this, but like it's become so much more popular as a business strategy. And so I feel like now there there's the data there's, Hey, we've messed up. We've done this. Like, and now there are courses and there are entrepreneurs out there that are sharing this skill set with others. So I'm glad you are one of them, Jen, because I, your course is awesome. I was on your accountability call that you did and set for the members. And I, I mean, I even took away a little, some nuggets here and then made me think about, oh, how do I want to move forward with my podcast? So I really appreciated your wisdom um, and having access to that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. Well, let me ask or not ask, let me answer the other question that you had asked. Why would somebody give away their intellectual property? You didn't ask it like that, but that is what you are asking. That is what I wanted to ask. (laughs) I literally couldn't, I was like, I know there's a term for this and it was not in my head. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So it, I have three reasons why. And the first one is because it's scriptural. We are called to give. We are called to teach these things to our children on the road as they sit down, as they stand up, as they lie down, around the dinner table, as we're driving in the car, in the carpool, all of those things. We're called to teach our children. And as we grow, women are called to mentor other women. So that is scriptural. And I would say, so I'm going to look at the verse here so I can read it uh, correctly here from Luke 6, 38, give, and it will be given to you. They will pour into your lap a good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over for by your standard of measure, it will be measured to you in return. A little caveat there, right before that verse, it talks about forgiveness Now, we like to take this verse and we like to apply this abundance talking, abundance speak and in worldly terms. And I am uh, always on high alert when we're talking about abundance, because I want to make sure it's in line with the Mm -hmm. promises of God. So when we forgive, the forgiveness is something Uh, Did you notice the word give and forgive? So we forgive as we want to be forgiven. We give that forgiveness as we want to receive it. We give of our gifts as we want to receive those gifts. So it's the power of giving that is based on the word of God. So that's reason number one. (laughs) Reason number two, when you teach, you learn. Mm -hmm. So when you're preparing a course, 
when you're asking yourself, okay, do I want to give this in this platform? Do I want to share it for free with somebody? You're asking what is the purpose behind it? And sometimes the purpose is that God has just called you to give. Other times there are other reasons that go along with it. And these are not necessarily, uh, we want to say, well, we should just give and give and give. Well, there, there needs to be intentionality behind the reasons that we're giving. Again, if God calls you to give, then you give. But there are business reasons to give as well. So the important point number two is when you teach, you learn. So how does that course fit into the people who are going to receive the course? And so what I did for GPA is I actually honed it in for GPA because that's some, that's a, that's a message that I preach from the hilltops that you don't just give out the same can of tuna to everybody that you demonstrate that you are aware of the community that you're giving it to. Yeah. So if that means you need to tweak some things, then you might want to tweak some things as well. Um, and then the third reason, I mean, it's very much a business reason. It's a partnership. And so it elevates your visibility and your growth. So I'm hoping that when people take podcasting 101, that they felt served and that they felt loved and that the things that they weren't aware of before they're aware of now, and that they recognize that they need a coach to help them move to the next step. And so that's what I do. Obviously, uh, that's there's a reason behind creating a course to begin with. There was a need for a podcasting course. I love podcasting. I love teaching. So they all went mm -hmm. together. Yeah. I love that. I think that is such a great, yeah, I love everything that you just said, because right, we are here not only to learn, but also here to scale and grow profitable businesses. And this is a great community to not only serve, but also to be served. And I think that, like you said, it's a partnership, it's a collaboration. And I know for me, as well as being a coach, like I've had a lot of referrals come out of this community while I'm also being poured into, or I'm pouring out serving in different positions within inside the membership being like an RLA coach. And so, yeah, like this is, this is, there's like business strategy and decisions that go into partnering with a membership platform like this. And it really does create that win-win for you and the people that you get to serve. And it's, it really is a beautiful partnership. So I've, I've received the same thing from you or and that you've experienced as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. And I also have gotten clients mm -hmm. because of the visibility that I've received inside the community because people they, they get a taste of who you are and how you roll. Right. And when people walk away, I want them to walk away knowing uh, she's going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun yeah. and we're going to work really hard <laughs> and we're going to have a great outcome because we're going to have fun and we're going to work really hard. So it really is for me. I love when my clients succeed. So I just got done working with someone and her podcast within two weeks went to the top 10% in the world. I'm like, what? What? That is amazing. That's so exciting. And I, so I love that. So that's what I love doing. I love using the power of our voice. I think when we recognize our voice has power, when we truly learn to love the voice that God has given us, that's how we can show up influentially. And that's how we show up our authentic selves. So I'm not, there's nothing scripted here. I mean, obviously we prepared for the podcast and we knew the outcome that we wanted to get to, to be able to talk about why you would donate a course to a membership. So we, I know that we've covered that, but we've also talked about other things as well. We've shown up having some fun and really just being interested in what the other person has to say. So I think though all those things are really important. Um, to, to show up and use your gifts, going back to what I shared initially, that we have a responsibility to hone. So each podcast recording that I do, I learn something, whether mm -hmm. I'm a guest or whether I'm the host, I learn something. And I love that because I'm a lifelong learner. Yes, me too. That's another reason why I enjoy the GPA membership is because I can continue to learn and grow and hone my skills as well. And so I, and I get to be connected with women like you, Jen, who are <laughs> pouring out and giving your wisdom in, in different areas of expertise. So I love it. 
As we wrap up today, Jen, is there any final thoughts that you want to share with the, with the listeners today? Yes, I will share this. So I am in the middle at the time of recording this, I am in the middle of a pivot. And if you are in the middle of a pivot, I just want to say, I feel you sister. <laughs> it's so painful because you have one foot in, oh, this is who I was serving, how I was showing up. And now this is who I'm serving and how I'm showing up. And the example that I'll use in that is that I'm currently on hold on my podcast. So I podcasted for three and a half years, 220 some episodes. And I realized that I needed to take a break as I work on this pivot and rename the podcast yet again. <laughs> it's time to simplify. And it's really interesting. That is going to be the name of the podcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really about using time management to be able to do all those things that God has given us to do. And yet it's hard to let go of some of the things that we've experienced to move into the things that God is calling us to next. So if you're on the fence about a decision about where do I go? What do I do? I, I just want to share this with you that it would be really great. Just snag a piece of paper right now. So if you're driving, you know, do this later, but if you're not driving, swiffering or changing the baby's diaper, take out a sheet of paper and put a line down the middle and write down all the things that you are concerned about. If I let go, what am I concerned about? Without a filter, okay, just write. And then on the right side of the paper, write down the things that you think will happen when you pursue this next calling. So if you're thinking about, am I gonna join a membership Mm -hmm. Or am I going to start a podcast, for example, or like me, am I going to rename and pivot and step back and take a little season of sowing seeds and really going back to my avatar, <laughs> doing market research, mm -hmm. doing all of those things? How does that line up with my business plan? Where is God calling to me? Does this decision align with my values? So wherever you are on the journey, whatever decision point you're in, it's really important that you take time to think and not with your phone, not by Googling what other people are doing, but all on your own with your heavenly father, sit there and really think about what do I do next? Lord, will you give me discernment? Will you show me where to go next? And he's so gracious. He will maybe not on our timeline. I mean, I've talked to him about the timeline. I haven't liked the timeline sometimes, but uh, he's definitely as gracious to hear and to answer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that, Jen. Thank you so much for sharing. And it's so funny. I just did a series called The Messy Middle, which is a little on yeah. pivoting and kind of grieving, like saying no to things and goodbye to things that were so such a great, um, yeah, I think we've all been there, done that, or are in the middle of it. So I'm glad you brought that up. Um, all right. Thank you so much, Jen, for sharing with us today. And I'll, for all those of you listening, I'll have all of her details in the show notes if you want to follow her and connect with her more. Um, with that, thank you all for listening. And I hope you have an amazing day. Uh, thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. We would love to hear from you. So please share your takeaways by tagging at live victorious over on Instagram and leave a review. This will help us get more visibility and reach more women like you for the kingdom. We appreciate you and are praying for you as you shine your light in the business world and rise to your purpose.